I'm Alex from Bowie High School Film Club. We're going to be looking at the issue of homelessness in Fife. Firstly, we asked students and members of the public about their opinions and stereotypes about the homeless. Can you describe your mental image of a homeless person? That's quite difficult, actually. Um, Just what I you mean, what you see, you see people sitting about, you see people sometimes in old clothes, blankets wrapped around them. Dirty, unclean, they stink. Drunk, dirty, scraggy hair. Quite scruffy, a big dirty beard. Minky, these are wash. Somebody with like a big beard and like rubbish clothes and clothes with rips in them. To um, paint a picture of homelessness in Fife, like how bad it is. We have a lot of what we call hidden homelessness. We get a lot of people who um, are actually homeless, but they're sleeping on a friend's settee. Um, they're, they're staying with uh, this friend for a few days, that friend for a few days. They're, they're sleeping at their grannies for a few days. Uh, they're still homeless because they don't have their own roof over their head. Historically, homelessness, people believe that it's people lying on the streets that, you know, they're out there with their dogs and they're begging. That's not homelessness. Homelessness is much bigger than that, and especially in today's economic climate because of the lack of jobs and people losing their houses. There's so much more to homelessness. We meet people who are single tenants. We meet couples, families older retired people, every single person at some point may come across homelessness and may need assistance. I think, I think there probably is a stereotype out there, but certainly in my experience it's been, I've met people who are uh, either homeless or at risk of becoming homeless from all different walks of life. I think especially just now with the economic situation being so bad, there's an awful lot of people out there who maybe only one or two missed paychecks away from becoming homeless themselves. So mm. I think the reality is that homelessness is something that could affect everyone. Uh, and we should all uh, you know, play our part to try and make sure that the, the, it's eradicated. How do you think people become homeless? Um, for a variety of different reasons, I think. Um, lots of family problems, perhaps. Lots of social issues um, that people have no control over. And uh, people find themselves in terrible situations. There's lots of different reasons. Um, sometimes they've fallen through a safety net of the social security system or they've um, problems with their family. The landlord that I'd, in the house that I lived in wanted to move back into the house and she had to leave her house because she didn't have enough money and um, basically I left me six, with six weeks to find a flat and with me being self-employed and a full-time student at the time I didn't have the work coming in so I didn't have the money to go and just find a flat and then I was left homeless like actually with nowhere to go, no roof over my head or nothing so I had to go and stay with my nan. We're here at the Trust and Fife offices in St Brycedale to investigate the Prevention First initiative. Prevention First is about stopping people becoming homeless. It's to help them um, before they get to that stage. It may be someone who has got any financial difficulties, so it's providing support and assistance to stop that so they don't become homeless in the first place. It may be um, a younger person who's fallen out with mum and dad and they need some support and assistance there to stop them again becoming homeless. We're here today at the Oasis Project in Kirkbody. The Oasis Project provides temporary accommodation for 16 to 25 year olds. What's the social life like here? Boring. If you're in here you've not got money and if you've not got money you can't go out. If you can't go out you're sitting watching telly. You get woke up at 9 o'clock in the morning and everybody is allocated chores, so you need to get up and do them. Um, how do you think you're perceived by the community around here? Not great at all. Just everyone's tarred with the same brush though. It's just if you come in here... You're homeless nuisance. Yeah. Whereas half the people in here, if you actually took five minutes to actually speak to them, you'd notice that they're not doing anybody any harm, they're not doing anything wrong. They're just here because they have to be. So what are your plans for the future? Where do you see yourself in a couple of years? I want to have my own house, a half decent job that pays me good money and I do want to be homeless. In a year's time I would like to have my own house and a job. Stable future, stable home. Obviously to get away from this place. Bring something to the community rather than taking. Mm -hmm. If 
you ever find yourself in a situation where you could become homeless, the townhouse is one of the first places that you go to find, to find more information about the prevention person life. We hope you've enjoyed watching this film. We personally have learnt a lot about the issue of homelessness in Fife while making this documentary. However, if you ever find yourself in the position of becoming homeless, then you should talk to Trust in Fife who will be able to give you more help and information. Mm -hmm.